but God, God, I want, to, I want to get to our text right here. God instructs Aaron, this high priest, and he tells him to take two goats. Now, if you never heard this, pay attention here. He takes these two goats, and they're meant to be an atonement for the sin offering of the people. The Bible tells us first it has to be determined which goat's going to die and which goat's going to live. So they do what they call cast lots. Well, I began to study and I found a lot of interesting things, but we would have two different goats and they would cast two lots, which would be placed inside of a vessel. On one lot would be the name Lashem, which was a substitute name for the name of Jehovah, which the Jews were absolutely scared to death. Do you they reference the name of God so much they wouldn't even use the name Jehovah for fear? But here we have a vessel, and we're going to have two different lots. And on the name of the one lot, it's going to be with sin, which represents God. On the other lot was the word Laazel, which means scapegoat. So we got two lots, one that's God's lot, and one's the scapegoat's lot. Then they would put these lots inside of a vessel called a cowpay, which would be shaken up. And they would shake up these two lots. The priest would then draw a lot out into his left hand and one lot into his right hand. He would reach inside there and grab one lot in one hand and one lot into the other. You see, all of this was pointing to the fact that they believed that when they cast lots like this, it gave God the ability to determine who was going to be the scapegoat and who was going to die. Just like the Father in heaven sent His only...